Welcome to my channel, Style with Carol. Today, Police Louis and I will be giving you a tour of our basement. He is clearly being a lazy puppy, so it's going to be me roaming around, showing you all the, all the decorations and fun ideas we have for 2021 Halloween, for our Halloween party. He's not mad. He's, he's clearly he's mad at me. Starting with our nano leaf program to be like a little pumpkin and festive for the Halloween season. We have the functional pop-up trash cans right near the food area. Now this is not set up, so I'm gonna give you guys some of the ideas that I'm thinking of doing for the party. I love that I got the skull thing from Amazon and then what I'm placing on top of it is from Target. Great buy, it was only like 10 bucks for the uh, like plastic glass jar. And so was the skull. And the skull is actually very practical because you can use it either like I've done there or hang it and it looks like a cocoon of webs on the skeleton. So very cool buy and that was also like around 10 bucks. This alien blood type fun, cool drinking containers I purchased from Amazon. I'll make, to, make sure to link as many things as I can down below. For the party, we're also using these ice cubes that I'm clearly having a difficult time getting. But once you put it underwater, it kind of like colors up. It's going to look really cool when it's, you know, in the nighttime or dark. And we have like the lights off. It's going to be like ice cubes. So this I use for all like the forks and utensils to kind of grab plates and goes. I love this little cauldron setup here that I have. The base is from Target. And then this, I believe, is from Big Lots last year. It's like a cool like skeleton candle thing. And then we have like Spook on Witches. And then the Poison is actually homemade uh, from my Etsy store. And I'll be showing and sharing some pieces that we have additional. I'm all about those glam pieces that are spooky, yet not so spooky. <laughs> These glow cups are also a fun idea to include um, for your guests just to have, you know, glow cups to make the party atmosphere. This is new. This is like a punch fountain that we're going to use. Um, uh, first time, I haven't used it yet, so I'm really crossing my fingers, hoping that it functions well, but I probably should test it out before the party. <laughs> now in this nook, I just placed a skeleton sitting down with some spider webs. Those are from Dollar Tree, along with those pumpkins, the scary story booklets, as well as the sparkly pumpkin. So the bottom one is empty, but on, or sorry, the bottom one has a prize, and this is for my nephew. I'm gonna give that to him during Halloween just so he has like a little toy treat besides candy because of course we're gonna have candy. Now I will say this Halloween party is set up more for adults, but you can do totally use a lot of these ideas and um, have, you know, have it practical, practical depending on the audience for your party. For example, this sign, beware the wicked witch and her little monsters live here. Very cute. This I've been looking for everywhere. I saw it in some YouTubers um, page, but she never mentioned where she got it from. She just said it was a gift. But I, after Googling it and trying to find out where this piece is from, it's from Target. And then I made my parents pick it up at a Target that's in a completely different state than what I live in just to get this piece. So if you're looking for this piece, check out Target. Um, I'm hopefully you'll be able to find it because it gets sold out pretty soon. Now going back to this table, I'm using this autumn mix and I'm using it as a filler on this baseboard because it's so plain. So I'm gonna put that on the day of the party and then I have these cool toothpicks, decorative picks that I'm gonna use for like the food item area. I'm also using these cauldrons to put pudding and then crushed Oreos just to make it look kind of festive and you can actually use it to eat because there's like no holes in them. And this was purchased also from Amazon, link down below for more detail. These bats were a lesson learned from last year. I put them on the wall, but they didn't do very well and they start to tear out the paint. So because the walls, I guess, that I have, the paint is very sensitive, we decided to use it more on the doors. Oh, by the way, the skeleton piece from Target, very cool and animated and I love like that it dances. I do need to put in new batteries for it though. Also, these fun ghosts, we just decided to put these random ghosts on like the sprinklers because our basement is fairly new. So 
we knew like the sprinklers won't come off with something as light as that. And then on this end, we have like a little, I, I don't know, the one of those games that you use to put like throw in the pouch. I'll be demonstrating it to you shortly on how to actually use it. And I think this was also like a target buy. Let's get smashed. That was really cool. I think that was from at home. For this little area, we decided to use like a, a plastic cloth, tablecloth, and then the spider webs. And then of course we have like our container with like treats and um, candies in it. But this was mainly to cover up our unfinished basement piece that we have because it's technically supposed to be a bar, but we haven't set it up yet. This area, I love the orange and purple here. Very, very cool. Like Dollar Tree had that. I know now they don't really have much on their Halloween section and they have like all these cool stuff that you see on the table. So make sure you check it out. They're fun, affordable, and just a great way to add like a bunch of Halloween types of pops into your party atmosphere. This was used in our last year party, the little vaccine shots, jello shots that we used. Make sure you check out my video. I will link it down below and I'll have all the information of where we got it from and then also more cool ideas for your party. As mentioned, I wanted to show you guys some of the Etsy other products that we have out on our Etsy store. Um, this is more of a thin tear tray item. And uh, the only issue with these ones are you kind of have to find like a easel or which we do have, but I was just too lazy to get or like some sort of support in the back. But other than that, they're fun to use and just have around. I'm all about my tear trays, so you will always see tear tray decoration on my channel. <laughs> This area right here is left blank on purpose because this is where the photo shoot stand is going to be and my sister is bringing that. I don't have the stand otherwise I would have showed you how I set it up but if you want to see the final look make sure you follow me on Instagram. I'll be posting it there. So this creepy witch she lights up in her mouth but she's going to be hanged up in the photo area. She has these really creepy hands and are very very scary if you actually like have it in the dark and you just see like this random looking witch on the side and here we have gopu with like sharpies and just you know fun for the guests to have their cups labeled with their names on it so they don't misplace it or don't know which one is theirs and this is kind of the overall of how everything looks in the basement area where the party is going to be happening. I thank you all for watching. And then this is how it kind of looks when the lights are off. Obviously, it's not completely dark yet. So you do see some daylight um, sunlight coming from the windows. But yeah, I am so excited for Halloween. Comment down below if you're excited too. And make sure you subscribe to my channel to see more videos like this. Thank you. Have a great day. Clearly, Louis is off duty for the party. Until next time.